Can you feel the ridges of the tongue? Yes. In part one, it was all about exploring the subtleties and the varieties of Ilongo cuisine in Iloilo. I went around with Chef Tibong, who opened my eyes to the produce and the amazing dishes that we've been missing out on. But today it's all about where the locals love to eat. So we've asked a bunch of people in our community, asking them where are the best places to eat here. So Martin and I are gonna go ahead and just stuff ourselves crazy, trying to put as many restaurants in one day as possible. From the best shop I've ever had, to oysters dipped in spicy vinegar, and a huge chunk of carabao brain, this is part two of our Iloilo food crawl. Blessed with brackish waters, Iloilo is abundant in seafood. With Talabahan or oyster stand selling the freshest and most affordable ones, we just had to give the crowd favorite, Koning's Talabahan, a try. First meal, ooh, ooh. steamed oysters, niso fish, I believe. Niso? Lison. Lison. L-I-S-O-N. This looks actually perfectly grilled. Um, and then you've got the soup <laughs> of the lison. You're <laughs> not paying yeah, attention so at all. The lison. Let me serve you, my friend. Oh, thank you so much. It's so kind of you. Yum. So this is a start of our whole Iloilo adventures, and there's lots of roadside eateries over here with Talaba. Um, this street also has some really good lechon spots, but only open one day a week. At Kuning's, oysters and lison take center stage. The oysters are fresh and steamed to perfection to give you a juicy bite that bursts with the flavors of the sea, but you can also get them raw if you like. But I've always preferred steam or grilled locally. The overflowing lison fish are usually dried in Iloilo, but we had to try it grilled and simply seasoned with soy sauce and calamansi. It's really perfectly cooked. So cool. Mm. It's not dry. Fuck, that's good. That was so well grilled. Yeah. Super tender. So much smokiness in there. So these were steamed slightly just to open them up. And that dipped in the cinema. I made Finalao using oysters, and that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here, right? Salanpo, thank you. We got a bottle of cinema. Ah, don't kill me! Time for a bowl of innards that will send you in a spin and keep you full until the next day. Salam Ukan is a gem. Its owner Boyet was cooking a traditional Filipino nilaga when he accidentally spilled a citrus soda in his dish. This accident turned blessing in disguise birth the Salam Ukan or Patalinaga. The winning dish is a bowl of spicy and comforting carabao meat stew with beef tendon, heart, brain, and tripe with a slight sourness to it. It takes four hours of boiling to make this hearty bowl, so you can imagine how everything in this dish comes together. Salam ukan directly means to choke in English. The saying goes, it's so delicious, it'll make you want to choke, which I don't really understand 100%, but I'll take it. It looks super pretty though. It's done. I mean, this is something that's been cooked for hours, you can tell. Yeah, man. Do you feel like after eating this, you'll have the energy? To have sex? I don't know how to work. I mean, not everything has to be. <laughs> I'll be, like, oh, I'll be really very like, sleepy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> a lot of fat, a lot of collagen. The innards, mm -hmm. though, are really well cooked. Like, look at that. That's the brain, right? That's the brain. That's the brain. Mmm, creamy. You have the sweet breads in there as well. That beef is kind of like falling off the bone. Yum. A little bit of acidity there like and there. Can you say if this is a thicker version of Gotong Batangas? This is the eye. There. I haven't had eye in a while. Mmm. That eye socket has so much kind of like of that <laughs> gelatin. It's pure mm. collagen. The your eyes. I think after this, we need some coffee. Yeah. And some snacks before we hit the next meal. Okay, the next one's pretty pretty far from here, so... Oh my god! For a quick break, we headed to Iloilo House Coffee. This specialty cafe has been serving good coffee since 2017 in the Villa District. And this area feels very different from the rest of the city. Should we just walk like we don't know each other? Like... Hi! 
After taking it slow to explore the faces and beauty of Iloilo, we went to the neighbor cafe. And everyone had to try their famous Oricano and their classic Spanish latte. I was not ready for this Chopau. In the streets of Calle Real stands Roberto's Chopau, the oldest and tastiest Chopau in Iloilo. The business started as a small Chinese restaurant in 1978 and gradually rose to fame because of their unusual but delicious Chopau fillings. The reigning largest and most popular dish is Roberto's Queen Chopau, filled with Chinese sausage, chicken pork adobo, bacon, and eggs. Just one bite and you'll know why Roberto secured its spot as an Iloilo icon. Dude, it's like mm. it's so really fun. spongy, chunks of onion in there, lots of pork. That's really good. Roberto's was considered an institution apparently here. So many people told us to come here. Mainly for their pao. You know, sometimes pao it can be very heavy and dense. But this one, I'm parang okay siya. Look at that. Boom. Oh my god. Holy fuck. I haven't had a really good shop out in a long, long time. No. Yeah, for me, sometimes the, the shop out that you get, uh, it's so pasty. It turns into paste. Yeah. But this one, it's still spongy, soft. It's still bread. Yet, the filling retains so much sauce. Mm. I mean, I think that's why the bottom was kind of like sticking a little bit, because yeah. it's, it's it's filled with lots of sauce. But it's so good. This is possibly one of the best things I've eaten today, honestly. Honestly, this is next level shop out. If you do come to Iloilo City, you need to try out this place. So our next stop is not far from here. It's a place called Bu Buhoy. Bu Bu we're terrible with names today. <laughs> so we're done here. We're gonna go over to Buho Bakery. Buho Bakery is literally a hole in the wall in a dark street with nothing else on it. Started off as a nameless bakery in the 1960s where you had to talk to the staff through a tiny hole in the wall, earning its name Buho or Hole in English. Through time, the owner started opening its doors to dine-in customers, delivering on the promise of serving daily Filipino bread and pastries hot from the oven. I'm here too! And that was here. By the way, if you're wondering, oh God. this is an electrical bike. Yeah, How cool is that? An e -bike. I'm gonna start with the panso. Okay. She mentioned that this was their best seller, but usually the bigger one. And it's still warm. This is the one she, take, she yeah. just took out. There's panso big and panso small. Kind of like pan de regla. Oh, the bread's I mean, so good. Yeah. Very Filipino flavor in terms of the texture the consistency, but it's something that we, I personally grew up eating. It's really tasty, actually. This is pan de, it looks like a pan de leche. Ah, this is the pogi. Really? No, I think that's the leche. This one's the pogi. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. This one's cool, kind of like a little heart shape. Monai, classic. Ah. But look at that, that's been sitting there for a while, and it's just... It's so moist. Crazy. Very that well done. Yeah. yeah, this one, ooh. Really crusty. I think that's pogi. Ah, this is the pogi. This, this, is, this is my favorite one. There's something to it. It's like almost like a creamy. It's some mix of uh, margarine, sugar, some milk powder, and breadcrumbs for sure. 6 p.m. A lot of people will probably say this video feels incredibly incomplete. If you're in this region, barbecue has to be on your list. Both Bacolod and Iloilo have inasal. There's a slight difference in taste and presentation though. Iloilo is usually a whole chicken and slightly sweeter, but not always. Lines get increasingly blurred now with how information is shared, and it's hard to determine who started what. The place to go is at Fort San Pedro, but we found the busy street of Valeria, and it's a barbecue wonderland. In Iloilo, I realized that people also prefer to call it barbecue, whereas in Bacolod, they call it inasal. Semantics. For something a bit more adventurous, go for the pork tongue and mascara. The barbecue stalls at Valeria will not disappoint you at night. What 
we have? What do we have? Because of course we have to get the chicken. Dalawa? Just one, man. Okay, okay. Yempo. Yes. And then pork mask. Where's pork mask? Right. Oh, actually, most. I feel like we should live a little, Martz, and go for some pork tongue. Okay. Have you ever had pork tongue? I've never had pork tongue. <laughs> Me too. Okay. <laughs> Uh, where do you want to start? Let's start with This tongue. is mascara. I'm a, I'm a tongue guy. Okay. Can you feel the ridges of the tongue? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? I mean, the texture is kind of weird. So you can really taste how sour it is. Like the acid has completely permeated through the barbecue. Uh, this is the pork nipple, which uh -huh. became tiny. Right. Try the dip. It's very really nice. Mm. Try the vinegar. The whole point of today's video is to kind of try places where locals go, and as you can tell, it's absolutely packed. With There's beer. a lot of people. Yeah. Shout out the native chicken. I want to try it because it was raw. It wasn't like pre-boiled. Exactly. It's gonna be impressive. If it's if it's if it doesn't fight back too much. Most native chicken you'll have is either fried chicken or in soups and stuff like that. Mmm. I love this one. Not chewy. I mm. eat. Oh my god. I love it. It's great. That was really good. This is probably one of the few cities I've seen in the Philippines where at night they illuminate the monument. Mm. If you walk by the riverside or by the old capital or by the plaza, the plaza that they have over there, yeah. the church, the buildings are really nicely lit. And because I think it's such a walkable city, because they've won so many awards and being kind of like one of the cleanest cities, tourism cities, um, I really appreciate kind of like how they care about that image. Right. It's really amazing because the streets are so busy, but they still maintain the cleanliness right. or their realness. So just to show you guys, it's possible. An Iloilo food trip wouldn't be complete without its signature dish, the pancit molo. Similar to Chinese wonton, pancit molo is a comforting soup with flavorful molo balls. Before we headed back to Manila, we asked the locals for their best pancit molo spots and found out why the soup is on top of Iloilo's gastronomic choices. We'd always just go to a popular spot like Cup Ising's, operating since the 1920s, but we were after something a bit more homey. And we were sent to Kalan PH, an unassuming restaurant that serves handmade pancit molo and burgers. This unlikely combination might just be our next go-to meal. And we heard of this place called Kalan PH where they serve both burgers and molos. Extremely strange combination, but well I'll take it. it. Um, and apparently the molo here is really authentic, really legit. Good, good. Um, you can tell it's a nice clear broth. The head shrimp, shrimp heads are kind of like mashed into there. The um, dumplings are made fresh. All right. And then they added one on rampers. And they make it fresh every order. They don't have like a big batch running. And even the molos, they wrap it like every morning. Oh my God. You can tell the dumpling is really fresh, bouncy, perfect amount, have like a filling. Yeah. The broth is clear, but so flavorful. Reminds me of the happy wolves. The people who don't know Pancit Molo, obviously, from Papa Shop Molo here in Iloilo, probably inspired or influenced by Chinese traders that came to the city yeah. at one point through the riverways. There's no actual Pancit or noodles, but you do put kind of like the dried ones on wrappers cut thinly, kind of looks like noodles, right? First time I've ever seen a uh, whole head in no. shrimp, last minute, but it really does add a lot of flavor to it. I'm happy we decided to come here. It feels homey. Homey. It feels homey and that, that's a huge, huge difference. Right, right. Yeah. Excuse us, we only have one camera since the rest of the team is still in Gimalas. The burgers were the random part, but since, <laughs> since they're so prominent on the menu. Yeah, I mean, the logo is a burger, so. Most of the places that we fe we kind of featured in our crawl were very much the OG kind of local spots that a lot of yeah. people go to. Uh, not necessarily all the Longo food, but a very Longo experience. Or but let's not forget that Ilo Ilo has probably thousands of restaurants. Like, I don't think I've ever seen this many restaurants in such a small vicinity. Well, it looks like people out, yeah. eat out a lot. Um, yeah. And so that means there's probably also really good, kind of like international food, not just the right. Uh which is why I wanted to try these burgers. This one has a mutton dough vibe to it. Meg? Yeah. Perfect example of use the list that we provided you as a starting guide 
don't be afraid to check out the new places. There's a bunch of like modern Elonga food places popping up also. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time. We did feature some of these kind of like very popular local joints. Mart's, Mart's featured the best of Batroy, the best Batroy places in the city. And I did a, a ridiculous food crawl of Elonga dishes and seafood. I don't even know how I'm still eating. But all in all, I think it's been a fairly successful trip. Right, and oh, and one thing I learned from everyone going around with everyone at Clio, it's always a great idea to walk around. Because that's when you see, you know, you're, you're meant to go to Biscocha House and then you see a nice cafe beside it. And you give it a try to out, it's great. Right? It's and this one, yeah, this is a it's great example. It's very, very different from where we were. Which yeah. is mostly like big streets and everything. Right. Come into this area, smaller streets. A bit more local, through yeah. vibe. A lot of students. A lot of students. Delicious. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out the rest of the series of Western Visayas. That's Guimaras, Guido and everything we shot in the blood. No, I ate mangoes.